All right, in this problem, we're going from moles over to molecules. There's no mention of grams, so we don't need to worry about the GFM. And in fact, it really doesn't matter if we're going what substance we're dealing with because it's just moles. One mole is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, particles, molecules or atoms or ions, but it's always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Let's follow our procedure here. We are given four moles and we're trying to find, we want to find out how many molecules we have. So let's, let's set it up. We know what we want and what we need. So we got 4.0 moles. Draw this. And I want ultimately to have molecules. All right, and I put it a little lower so I can put my number up here. Um, well, I've got moles here and I need to have molecules up top. So I happen to know that one mole is equal to Avogadro's number, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. That's just something you memorize. One mole is Avogadro's number of molecules. Once I've done that, everything's set up. If I did it right, moles will cancel out. I'll be left with molecules. So the question becomes, how do you multiply 4 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd? You can do it on your calculator, if your calculator is uh, advanced enough to do that. Um, or you can just take 4 times 6.02, which is what, 24.08, and then tack 10 to the 23rd on the end. And that's a valid answer. But we also might want to write that in scientific notation. And there, we need to move this over 1, 2.408. And since we decrease this by 10, let's bump up that by a factor of 10. So this is another way to write it. You'll probably see this more frequently on quizzes and tests. It's the tests. It's the uh, kind of the accepted way to do it in science when you're reporting your answers. So we went from moles to molecules. We didn't do anything with grams or GFMs, and canceled out moles, multiplied by Avogadro's number, to get our final answer.